or stack up, I don't really care. I mean, from my point of view, absolutely top to bottom, I feel it, like it's the most solid group. I feel like there's elite talent in this group, and I feel like there's great glue. There's great players. There's great program guys. There's guys that you can develop. There's guys that can play right away. There's impact guys. There's guys that, guys that change the scoreboard. There's guys that could get extremely difficult yards when you need them in the run game. They're excited about playing football. They're serious about the game. And they're not so wrapped up in all the stars and all the, you know, all that kind of stuff. They want to get in here and get to work. And uh, that's what I love about this group, top to bottom. I think it starts with the nucleus of the in-state guys. I think it's important to note the like guy like Drake Jackson. Of course, Landon may have been the first guy. And then Drake really took a leadership role. And... Um, you know, I think it starts with those guys. They're, and what was nice is they were such high-profile guys in state, and they were so solid. And I think the guys in Ohio that have been committed for a long time have been extremely solid. I think, um, you know, this year we made it a point in, in just the message it sends. A lot of times guys just want to take trips. But what happens is when they want to take trips, it gets you that little crack in the door, sends the wrong message to the other recruits. We, you know, we laid that out to the guys this year. There was several guys down the stretch. Hey, I'm just going to go take a trip here, a trip there. And, you know, we let them know that that's not the perception that we want from this class. These guys have been solid. They've been, you know, uh, holding true and steady for, for a year. And, uh, and they said, I, I got it, coach. You know, we're not going anywhere and they're staying here.